Hey guys, welcome back to Battalion Wars. In the last part, we played the Beachhead and we fought against Arnold and, you know, Commandant Ubel. And now we are going into the Invasion Force, which is our next mission. Our brave Tungen, Tungen, Tundren allies still hold the city of Dusty Springs, but overwhelming Exylvanian forces are rolling in to crush them. Work together to prevent the capture of the comm station. The distress signal must be maintained if we are to guide the Tundran evac choppers in safely. So we're actually helping Tundrans, although we are kinda helping them escape. So yeah, they still suck. Whatever. Anyway, this one's not so bad. I don't actually really mind it all that much. It's kinda fun. Come on. There we go. The Dune Sea campaign is moving fast, Commander. Even as we speak, the Exylvanians are laying siege to the Tundran-held city of Dusty Springs. Brigadier Betty, can our frontier allies assist us in resisting the invaders until we are ready to evacuate? We must hold the Exylvanian siege brigade at bay until our distress signal is received by Tundran High Command. Aren't you Tundran High Command? Wait, whatever. We'll be glad to assist, Marshal. There is a frontier battalion in the area. I'm sending it to you right now. Yes, 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 my favorite tanks. Commander. Your mission is to protect the comm station until Marshal Nova's evac wing arrives. Make for the Silver Star. These are my favorite tanks. Heavy tanks. They have two barrels. Boom! I never get tired of heavy tanks in this game. They are maneuverable, they are more powerful than lights, and they have two freaking barrels. What is not to love? Heavy tanks, they are my favorite vehicles in the game because they are far more, like, far, far more functional than the best tank in the game, quote unquote, that we still have not yet seen, but we'll be seeing it eventually, don't worry. Favorite tanks in the game, tons of fun to use, just like the lights. Dispatch gunships who run these inferior specimens into the ground. The veins of an entire continent are waiting to be tapped. There's that gunship over there. Kaiser Glad, we meet at last. But you chose the wrong day to pick a fight with our allies. And boom. Done. Sucker. Alright. When the gunships come, go ahead and just control transfer over to a uh, anti-air vehicle and just take it out yourself. Ha! Ah. No, 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 no! No, they're getting pummeled up there. Crap. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's good. Bring through our chokehold of the enemy. Bring in heavy tanks and rocket troops to seize the northern bridges. <laughs> I love Kaiser Vlad's voice. Commander, you gotta stop the Exylvanian Siege Brigade from entering the city. Head for that silver star. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, there's something I want to ask. Uh, when I was when I was editing these episodes, like the first eight episodes, I had a ton of trouble getting the audio right. How does the audio sound? Is it good? Is it bad? Because it was very difficult to get it at a good level. So, was were things too loud? Were things too quiet? How was it? I'm really curious about that. But anyway, we have white. We have heavy tanks to deal with, and um. For whatever reason, only the Western Frontier heavy tanks have two barrels. Kind of interesting. Deploy gunships to support my rocket troops immediately. Those stockpiles of Neurosite are within my grasp. Where are you coming from? Uh, where are the gunships? They coming in? Gunship? Oh, there is no gunship. What the crap? There's no gunships at all. <laughs> they haven't even spawned yet. Okay, that's fine. I'll just. Take him out of the tank. Actually, no. I want to take him with a uh, flame bets. Come on, guys. Torch him. Where is it? Okay, those are the tungens. Ah, get over there. Oh wow, that was easy. Oh, there's a gunship. Oh, okay. 
Her then the inferior enemy frustrates my efforts. I need infantry to secure that bomb station. And where are my gunships? Oh my god, jammed! Sounds like me when my voice cracks. Pennsylvanian infantry are swarming towards the southern bridge, and they have air cover, Commander. Get to that silver star. Oh no, because we totally haven't dealt with gunships before, have we? I mean, they're not difficult. Jeez, as long as you have anti-air gunships, are no problem. <laughs> oh well. Oh wait, there it is. Jeez, what the? <sighs> die, 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 die. And die, 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 die. And you're done. Tank. Alright, where are the infantry? Oh yeah, they're gonna be coming up the bridge. Now something that's really fun to do with tanks is that you can actually kinda snipe with them. If you're really good at it, there they are. So you can actually try to... See, so your, your tank shots aren't gonna go all the way across the bridge, but you can aim in such a way that they actually fall where you want them to fall. Ah. Boom. There we go. It's really fun to take them out with a tank before they even get across the bridge. It's almost, it's like not fair. Oh, stupid infantry. There we go. And not a problem. Bring them on. Close the iron fist of Exylvania around them. Transport copters surround the comm station with infantry. <laughs> I love his voice. He's so funny. It's gonna take another five minutes before Tundran High Command received Nova's distress signal. Retreat to the comm station. Okay, this is where this... Excellent! Oh. You kept the Tundran infantry at both locations in one piece. Both secondary objectives complete. This is where things can get kind of annoying. You gotta protect this comm station here. And they're gonna be dropping transport helicopters on either side constantly coming in with tanks and choppers and all kinds of nasty stuff. And it's not fun to have to deal with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, take it out, take it out! Oh, you stupid vehicle, you're in the way! Oh, I couldn't get it. Ah, there's another one. Ah. That's why it's really annoying, because you are stuck in this tiny little place with all your infantry, and you can't hardly move. That's one of my major, major problems with the vehicles in this game, is that a lot of times, um, well, what happened to the freaking thing? Jeez, they're getting raped over there. Oh, they have rockets. That explains a lot. Okay, can I please, come on, take it out. Okay, this is just a horrible position to be in. What the heck is up with the camera? There we go. And yeah, sometimes the camera just fails epically. Ugh. Okay. You stay there. I know. And right there. No, 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 no. Jeez. Tank. Now both of you just stay there. That's where you want to put your anti-air stuff. Just put it around in there and you should be good. And then you can go out with your tanks and take out other heavies, stuff like that. And I'd say leave your infantry along the edges of the area, just so that if rockets come in, you can take them out that way. Ah, tank. And my bazooka, man, that is a trooper of a bazooka vet. That bazooka vet took that tank on his own. Man, that, he is pro. He is so pro. Man. I wonder if I should give him a name, and I wonder if I should just be really lame and just steal a name. Huh. No, 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 I'll call him, you know what, that bazooka vet, I'll call him Bjornsson. That way I'll be original and I won't just be stealing another, you know, overused name. You know, like, Steve, Steve the Red Pikmin, so no, I'm not going to steal that. Hey, okay, I get it. There it is. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Oh, you lazy bums. Oh, you could have killed it. Oh, man, and I, of course, I just now kill it right after they get out. So yeah, Bjornsson the bazooka vet. Bjorn, yeah, and he's American, so that's that's weirder. So, uh, come on, flame vets. <laughs> We're going to flame them to death, get it? Because it's the internet. 
get my bazookas on me. Okay. This honestly isn't that bad of a part. You just really need to position your anti-aircraft vehicles in a, in a place where they can easily take out aircraft, or at least weaken them. That's the main thing here. And it is quiet. Oh. There it is. Is that a gunship? Yeah, that's a gunship. Uh, hey, anti-aircraft, you wanna... There we go. Gunship. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Ah, there's a tank there. Come on, bazooks. Oh, whoa, jeez. Freaking... And I just called them bazooks. You are on expendable. Attack! Into the city and strike them down. Every last one of I am a major troll in this series. I'm the best. Kaiser is sending in every <laughs> unit he can muster. <laughs> I love quite Kaiser Vlad. I love all of the Exilvanians. I think every single one of them is just hilarious because they're just so blah 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 the whole time. They never change at the whole game. Courage, Brigadier. Less than 30 seconds remain until the distress signal is broadcast. Man, you guys suck at, like, broadcasting stuff. It takes you five minutes just to actually send it. Jeez. Ah, no, no, no. Don't lock onto your own guy. Not the heavy tank. There we go. Get a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hurry up. Thank you. There's the tank. Yay. <laughs> How does it feel to have a tank and get killed by an anti-air vehicle? That's pretty sad. Commander, I want you to regroup at the lighthouse and hold out until Nova's extraction choppers arrive. Everybody on me. Okay, so, as soon as she says that, you need to get moving. I've actually lost this mission because I didn't move fast enough and all the Tundrans ended up dying. The entire mission relies on you saving the Tundrans. So if they all die, the mission is over. And if you don't get moving right now, the Tundrans will just run off without you and they end up getting killed. See, there they are. So you're going to need to stick with the Tundrans. Okay, so, where are they? Where the, where'd they go? Oh wait, there they are, they're the little gold blips on the map. Whoops, I didn't notice that, okay. So you need to keep following them. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. And see, they have gunships there too, so they're just gonna be destroying them if you just leave them alone. Ah! Less than 30 seconds to go, Brigadier. My evac wing is almost here. Come on, kill it. Okay, that one's dead. And I didn't even know it was dead, it was just a guess. No, 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 no! Get away from them! Get away from those brave red soldiers that we were killing just two missions ago! Come on. Everybody, just kill them. Everybody kill the Exylvanians! Go, 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 go! You gotta kill them! Yes! Whew, now I scared there. Thank you, Brigadier. Without you, all of my brave comrades would have been lost. I think I told you before, Marshal Nova. You can call me Betty. And everybody else will call you Navi. You are safe for now. But soon you will learn that there's no escape from my righteous entrance. My fleeing hundred foes. Okay, so one thing I want to know. Why are they... Oh, wow, I got an S. Cool. Uh, anyway. Uh... Why is Kaiser Vlad so upset about the fact that they're escaping? His whole intent there was just to capture that city. So, he accomplished his goal. Is he just trying to kill everybody? I mean, as far as he should be concerned, the city is his. That's pretty much all he needs. He gained the ground and stuff. Oh, there's one thing that I love about the tank down there in like the little, uh, like the little bio. It says that the nickname for the the tank is the Herminator. I love that. But anyway, there's the uh, bonus thing right there. And it, you need 85, and we only have 46. So, yeah. Anyway, next time on Battalion Wars, we will go to the next mission, which is the Gunships of the Desert. 
So see you guys next time.